Today we've dropped anchor off a picturesque fishing village called Polpero. With its unspoiled architecture, charming harbour, rugged and beautiful coastline and sleepy feel, you'd never guess that this little village had such a criminal past. This magnificent stretch of the British coastline is known as the Polpero Heritage Coast. There are miles of stunning coastal path walks and cliff walks and shore walks extending east and west, coves and caves, beaches and bays, all waiting to be explored. This part of Cornwall had lively trading links with the Mediterranean, even in prehistory times. And it is said that once Jesus visited Lou, accompanied by his uncle, a tin trader, Joseph of Arimathea. But in more recent centuries, this stretch of the coastline became uh, synonymous with fables of smuggling. These beautiful fishermen cottages that you can see behind me cling to the steep hillside of this magnificent ravine as the river pole ambles peacefully through the village to a shallow harbour of crystal clear turquoise water and colourful boats. Let's go and have a closer look into town, shall us? We're going to go for a walk around the streets and the lanes. We're going to follow the lanes that the old smugglers would have followed and we're going to imagine that people are there with wheelbarrows full of fish as they're taking the wheelbarrow back to their cottage. The cottages were built in order to store a lot of the fish that were there and all the nets and the equipment for shipping and the top part, the loft part, would have been for all of the sailors to live and sleep and bring their children up. The wonderful thing about Polpero at the moment, really, I think, is the way that managed to keep a lot of the small buildings they still maintain that character. And now as we come around the corner here, well I say corner, we don't really have corners in Polpero, we have rounded buildings uh, so that the devil couldn't hide behind the corners. It might have been a customs man, I don't know. You've got to stop by the model village in the town, absolutely excellent. It's where you can see a scaled down miniature version of this beautiful town in its full glory. Absolutely wonderful. For lovers of art and beauty, you must visit the Polparo Gallery of Art. Here it is. Uh, this is an organisation that got together to maintain the creative abilities and show off the skills of the local people to keep the flow of art and creativity alive in Polparo. Polparo is still a working fishing port and at high tide the boats can be seen and loading their catch. Fresh fish and seafood are available at the harbour, at the kiosks at the side and also in the restaurants and the bars and uh, the cafes. So there's a full selection here, plenty of grub to get hold of. In 1762, John Wesley came to the village of Polpero. You might have heard his name, he was the founder of the Methodist churches and here's one of the churches that he had built here. He came in 1762 and the first thing he said was that the whole village to a man was involved in smuggling, the accursed trade he called it and he put about to set that right and spent six years preaching to the villagers. Polpero has a small sandy beach located just outside the main breakwater. The beach is in front of Willie Wilcox Cave. Willie Wilcox uh, was a, believed to be a smuggler and as the custom men came after him, he went into the cave to hide and was never seen again. The harbour is exceptionally pretty and well worth a visit. Yachts are moored in the sheltered bay and pleasure trips are on hand to offer half hour trips along this wonderful coastline towards Foy. We have come to the Warren overlooking the harbour to the Heritage Museum to investigate more of the dark history of smuggling and piracy at Polpero. The village was notorious for smuggling activities during the 18th and 19th century when Britain was at war with America, France and Spain. 
The wars led to high import taxes, making it worthwhile for the smugglers to sneak the goods in rather than pay those high taxes. Everyone conspired to hide the duty-free goods. When John Wesley first visited the village in 1762, he remarked that all the locals were involved in smuggling. Oh, it brings a tear to me, oh, it does. I'm so proud of them. However, later on in the 19th century, the Coast Guard introduced hard penalties for smuggling, which massively reduced the problem, and the free traders have long since sailed into folk history. It has barrels of information. You can come and find out and discover the long history of Polpero, also of the Polpero knit frock. And to top it all, Polpero's five pound note that was issued with the authority of London by Zephanar Job. Rich in a history of smuggling and fishing, this enchanted harbour is highly recommended for a day's visit for young buccaneers and pirates of all ages.